Welcome to University of Chimera Stadium in steamy Tombstone, Arizona, where the only thing hotter than the heat is the ceaseless sinning. The players are ready to rock the red zone and red light district tonight. Let's go down to the field for kickoff. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The Malice Hellboys take on the Cardinal Sins. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still moving, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turn into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Wow, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> and that'll be second down and four. Stud bricks. Yeah, telling me. Nice run. No, I mean he's a real stud. He works at the mutant stud farm weekends and summers. Oh, with the punishing hit. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Coming, partner. Yeah, now the ground crew's gonna come out and pick him up. This guy it really kills the momentum. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. A great throw, oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. friends was an all pro oh man he just killed that guy when the play was over well if the rep didn't see it at least the mortician did he's coming out in the field now and it's first and ten a vicious hit and the crowd loves it he just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me and you can't hit a guy much harder than that and that is unfortunate down and long and he just used his beast boost dirty trick a good run for five yards hey didn't move to change his score did it how good can it be you know sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back 
The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and 10. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. It's first and ten. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, man! You mean aside from driving the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? Think it's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Boom! It's first and ten. He picks up ten yards on that play. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And that'll be second and eight to go. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. Pick the QB says, I don't know. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And he puts the. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. First and ten. The defender's one speed just kicked in. He's so fast, he can run a kickoff for a touchdown before the ball was even kicked. See that 
boo baby. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, good run. He nearly broke it open, Bricks. Yeah, I nearly blew. And this game is up for grabs. And they'll bring him third down and seven. First and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. First and goal. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. Yeah! And it's first and ten. to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> you can't keep a good mutant down. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well... Third down and three. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means he can wrap up the other half. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. And they say the deli. Who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? First and ten. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden, the ex murderer. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I guess it worked for her. And that'll be second down and four. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Second and three. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. 
Boy, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And that is caught for a first down. <laughs> the offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hammer sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, and he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost poetic, man. What the high cool? Seriously, man, you think you'd go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. trick well the offense is down to their last running back when he bites the dust they can only pass yeah well at least they don't have to flop it then that's right but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers and it's first and ten and another intercept how and how about a little dirt sandwich And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a. Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. I don't know whose eyes the QB. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like this. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. And with another game, punch his way out of that. 
attack. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Bring your pancake to me. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. And then Caps will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. away and they pick up nine with that catch uh, not enough for first but still a nice game the quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock they have two left and that'll bring up second and one Looks like there's a penalty on the play. <laughs> First and four. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And they're catching up. Joke, job, do something. The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. He could go all the way. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and a timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Now, this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too... He's got the distance, and the kick is good. Yeah. 
They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down in a very lot. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. You want to take some fun on your time. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, man, what a hit that was. First and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. and watch his confidence take off. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. First down and six. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. I still want to I want to hell with all the Second down and a lot. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. You know, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of 
kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. Wow. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's, he might catch him. Oh, you fat little Milton. Oh, man, he reaps down. He was not going to drop that one. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. First down and long, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And that defender just got it. And he's off to the races. He's at the third. And the defense is on his heels. Oh. And lightsaber there with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and two. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and 
It's first and ten. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. The offense lost their final quarterback. Lucky for them, they're on defense now or the game would be over. Uh, so all the other team has to do is pump the force of forfeit? That would be correct, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The Cardinal fans ruthlessly destroy the opposition and win by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about if, how about if you not... shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.